so normal matrices are uh, i mean so don't get fooled by the name um it's just a property it has nothing to do with uh, in some sense the matrix being normal or in any way related to the gaussian distribution so the definition is like this a in c to the n cross n is normal if it commutes with its conjugate transpose okay so any matrix for which this is true is called a uh, a normal matrix these normal matrices are a generalization of unitary uh, symmetric and hermitian matrices so for example for a real symmetric matrix it's a matrix such that a transpose equals a and uh, if it's real symmetric then uh, a transpose equals a then a a hermitian is the same as a a transpose but a transpose equals a so this is equal to a squared this is also equal to a squared so it holds for a real symmetric matrix similarly for a hermitian matrix this equality holds uh, and as a consequence um, all such matrices unitary matrix symmetric matrix or hermitian matrices are all normal matrices so just to illustrate that if a if if u is unitary then u u hermitian equals u hermitian u which is equal to the identity matrix implies uh, unitary matrices are normal matrices similarly um a a hermitian equals a hermitian a if a equals a hermitian so all hermitian matrices are normal also if um, a hermitian equals minus a and such matrices are called skew symmetric or skew hermitian then a a hermitian equals a hermitian a which is equal to minus a square so skew symmetric matrices are normal and finally just one more example if i consider the matrix a equal to 1 minus 1 1 1 this matrix is uh, is normal but it is not unitary or hermitian or skew hermitian or skew symmetric 
Okay. So basically, the no, definition of normal matrices is a strict generalization of these uh, other matrices like unitary matrix uh, matrices or layer symmetric matrices or Hermitian matrices or skew, skew Hermitian matrices. <clears throat> so here is a very, very interesting result which outlines some properties of normal matrices. Is it small for orthonormal also? This A matrix is orthogonal, but for orthonormal it should hold. Yes. Not generally so for orthogonal. If I, if I had taken an extra 1 over square root of 2 factor here, then this would have become a unitary matrix. And so then, of course, since it's unitary, it is also normal. But without that also, it satisfies the requirement of being normal. But generally orthogonal are not, right? So again, I think you asked this question the last time. Uh, the uh, no, sir, uh, I'm asking. Uh, no, no, I'm just orthogonal. saying. In terms of notation, I use two notations. One is a unitary matrix, okay, which is uh, potentially complex valued, but for which U U Hermitian equals the identity matrix. I also use the notation real orthogonal matrix to mean a real valued matrix satisfying UU transpose equals the identity matrix. So I don't have a specific notation for matrices like this A that I've drawn, I've written here, uh, where the columns are, are orthogonal to each other, but they're not unit norm. I don't have a specific word for that. But basically, um, a matrix like this, whose columns are um, orthogonal and they have the same norm but not equal to one. Okay, is also no is also a normal matrix because if I take a Hermitian a, um, I'll get a diagonal matrix and the values along the diagonal will be equal to a scaled uh, that uh, a scaled version of uh, so the the a Hermitian a will be a scaled version of the identity matrix, and uh, so from that um, uh, you can see that if I take one over square root of that scaling, then that matrix uh, and apply that to a and a Hermitian, that resulting matrix will become a orthonormal matrix, and so as a consequence. Uh, multiplying it in the other order will also give me the identity matrix. So A, A Hermitian will be equal to A Hermitian A. Okay, so here's the theorem. So if matrix A in C to the n cross n has eigenvalues lambda 1 through lambda n, the following are equivalent. A is normal, B A is unitarily diagonalizable, C Sigma i j equal to one to n mod a i j square is equal to sigma i equal to one to n mod lambda i square. 
Okay, so this shows that any normal matrix is unitarily diagonalizable. Okay, which is uh, a different requirement or a different condition under which you can be assured that the matrix is unitarily diagonalizable compared to the result we saw earlier where we wanted the matrix to have distinct eigenvalues. These eigenvalues lambda 1 to lambda n need not be distinct. If it is normal, that is also sufficient. A is going to be unitarily diagonalizable. 